Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name's Tyler. I usually work on cars, tinker around with cars, fix them, break them, do stupid stuff to them. But uh, this one's a little bit different. As you can see behind me, we got a poker table. My buddy sent me this ad from Marketplace this morning. $10. Couldn't pass it up. Some lady just wanted it gone out of her garage. And uh, so I fired up the truck, went and picked it up. And uh, here we have it. Looks like it came from the 90s or the 80s. It's pretty old, pretty dingy, pretty dirty. Uh, it definitely needs some work, needs some loving, needs some TLC. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to strip this thing down, uh, see what kind of work it needs. Probably, it looks like it's all mostly wood covered in some sort of old vinyl or plastic. So we'll strip all that away, probably get some new felt for it. And uh, yeah, we'll go up in the man cave upstairs. The boys and I usually... Uh, play poker every once in a while so it would be nice to have a proper poker table this is an octagon so it holds eight and uh yeah we'll see what we can do with this thing ten dollars can't beat it So the whole thing's pretty much just covered in uh, masking tape and electrical tape for some reason. Uh, all the way around the edges as you just saw me peel it all off. I'm not sure why, but there's a lot of it. So, uh, and it seems pretty old. So this might take me a little bit just to get all this tape off. But this old, I forget what this stuff is called. I guess it's just like a laminate, fake wood looking film. Plastic almost. Not sure, but they use that in houses a lot in like the 80s and the 90s. And then the cup holders are just cork. Probably come up with something better than that. Maybe just some sort of rubber grommet to go in there. And then also here in these open sections where your chips go is just this uh, also this vinyl. At one point it had some adhesive on the back, I would say. But, uh, yeah, this vinyl stuff. Fake leather, whatever this is. I don't know. But uh, that's in every corner where chips go. So, yeah, just gonna keep stripping this thing down and see what we end up with uh, once it's all gone. Got to wood yet underneath, but we're still we're just gonna keep going.
I guess the first layer, you could call it, of wood fill. This looks like a mess, pretty much. Blotches everywhere. Just ignore those patches because those will all get covered. That's just to kind of even it out, like I said earlier. This will hopefully sand down fairly clean. And uh, the stain will cover up most of it and kind of blend it all in. I know it's going to stand out some because it's a different color obviously but that's all right we're not going for perfection here just to fill some divots really light sand on all the wood filler uh, vacuumed it all up wiped it down with a microfiber nothing too crazy and yeah i'm just gonna get underway with with this uh with this stain i don't want to wait any longer i've got it's wednesday now wednesday evening Got till Saturday to finish this. I want it done by Saturday. So need to get the stain on so that I can at least do a couple coats. Put a clear coat over top of all that as well and let it cure. So yeah, I'm just gonna dig right into the, the stain. All right, mixed it up. Golden pecan doesn't look exactly like what I thought it was gonna look like, but I don't know, man, we're gonna try it anyway. Looks like muddy, muddy water. I'm gonna spill that water. That's probably not showing. That looks more brown on camera. But we're gonna see what it looks like on the wood. No, maybe not. That's not bad, I guess. So it seems like the cup holders don't really want to take the stain very well. It doesn't seem like it's absorbing that much. I'm gonna let them dry though, let it sit in and uh, come back in a few hours and see how it looks and uh, obviously do a couple more uh, coats as well. But that's the first coat of the whole table and all the cup holders. I didn't really film. Um, the last thing I filmed was clear coating the whole table, I think. But me and my lovely girlfriend, we felt at the top, didn't film it, even you know, getting dirt all over it. But this is pretty much the finished product, other than the cup holders that have to go in the corners. So I redid the sides of the cup holders black, just because uh, most of the clear coat dripped down the sides of them. So. Those are just drying for now. They'll go back on the table. And two coats of clear on here. I didn't have time to do a third because I want this done by tomorrow. And yeah, I don't have time to sand it all and then clear it again, clean it and clear it again. So this is what we're leaving it with. And the top is complete. So it's just a couple there's left and then we're done.
All right, we're on the home stretch. Just got to insert the cup holders, glue them down with a bit of wood glue, and that is it. This project is done. This took a lot longer than I thought, and it went a bit further than I anticipated, but it is what it is. It's a nice looking table right now, so uh, yeah, let's keep going, get these cup holders installed, and that will be it. Finished product. The new felt really gives it a fresh look. I'm not too happy with these cork inserts, but they're gonna have to do. I couldn't find anything else in time, so they look all right, but not ideal. I'd like some black silicone inserts if possible but couldn't find them so this is what we went with pretty good from what it uh what it looked like before we'll get it upstairs once i get the legs off and see what it looks like on the table